Clinton, saying her experience working in the Oval Office makes her uniquely qualified to be president. Until you've sat at that desk, you don't know what it's like to manage a global crisis or send young people to war. But Hillary's been in the room. She's been part of those decisions. As a former U.S. Secretary of State and her eight years serving as a U.S. Senator from New York, Clinton has left her mark on U.S. foreign policy. In terms of Russia, she has called Vladimir Putin a bully. And with ongoing tension in Ukraine, Clinton said U.S.-Russian relations hit a low ebb. But foreign affairs experts say it is important for the two nations to work together. She also understands that with Russia, we have multiple overlapping interests. Nuclear issues, the Middle East, Iran, the fight against Islamic State, Syria. Good news and bad news, all of it. But you have to be engaged, and this is someone who can engage. While ISIL's footprint in the region is contracting, Clinton wants to focus more on the group's effort to unleash terror outside of Syria and Iraq. Clinton also wants to expand U.S. airstrikes against ISIL and see more Muslim nations get involved in the fight and have the U.S. take a greater role in coping with the massive humanitarian crisis the ongoing strife in the region has fostered. The attack in Libya in the aftermath of the Arab Spring uprisings continues to haunt Clinton. A U.S. ambassador and three other Americans were killed in an attack in September of 2012. Clinton and the White House wrongly initially blamed the assault on a protest gone awry over an anti-Islam video. In the end, many investigations revealed that security was inadequate at the post in Benghazi. In Asia, Clinton calls the U.S.-China dynamic one of the most challenging relationships the U.S. has, but says the two share a positive, comprehensive relationship. A far cry from the so-called China bashing from GOP presidential nominee Donald Trump. We're not interested in demonizing the Chinese. That's not how you get things done for the American people. So that's not what you're going to hear out of Hillary. But what you will hear is someone who understands what our interests are. But Clinton has also frustrated Chinese officials, talking openly about human rights. And she also took the lead in making the South China Sea issue a global affair. At the 2010 Southeast Asia Security Summit, it was Clinton who said the U.S. demanded open access and legal solutions